All right, so we are in San Jose, Costa Rica, and Adriana, my wife, has been wanting to visit this indigenous community for the past few months now, and we had to come to San Jose to go knock out some paperwork, and we figured we would, you know, make the trip a little longer to go and visit this community. So we are in the Hotel Aranjuez right now, which is super nice, but as is the custom in my videos, the room is a mess, so we'll do a room tour later. Excellent breakfast too, I'll show you guys later in the video. But now we're gonna go downtown San Jose and catch a one hour bus ride. It's the bus that goes to Puriscal, but we get out at an earlier town called, here it is, I'll put the name on the screen. And we're gonna go visit the indigenous community, so let's go. I'm guessing this is the spot we were supposed to get off at. The directions were vague, but it does say the weird name of that town right there on the bus stop sign. So uh, I believe we have to go up this way. So we got a little hike ahead of us. But before we go, check out this view. All right, let's go. So we're guessing this is the place, Rancho Biriteca. It says right here, Territorio Indígena Kitirisi. Let's go. Guys, this is my last video. So we made it. Now we gotta take a seat and wait our turn. Max, mucho gusto, Nelson. Mi esposa Adriana. Cuando llegó, llega a Costa Rica el 1500. 
el cuarto viaje. Llega a Costa Rica. El último. El último viaje. En 1560. Y es donde el conquistador Juan de Caballero se encuentra con el país central. Cuando los españoles estaban a punto de llegar al país central, ya los huetales sabían que venía gente. Pero era una tradición. Recibirlos igual. Sí. En ese momento nosotros éramos eh, liderados por un gran cacique, que ese se llamaba Garabí, como era el rey, máximo rey de los huetales. Entonces, Garabí ya hace una gran fiesta para recibir a, a las personas, con comida, con chicha, bueno, pues, esperando a las personas. El, el, el primer contacto lo hace con Juan de Caballo, un, un visitador español. Y eh, fueron bien re recibidos, ¿verdad? Pero a los pocos días eh, Garabito observa algo diferente en las personas. Comienza a ver que ya comienzan a, a tocar a nuestra niña, a apoyar el oro. Sí. Entonces viene Garabito y, y convoca la gente más cerca de él. Uh -huh. Y los lleva a un rancho grande a todos. Y les pregunta y que si ellos ven lo que él observa. Los otros demás dicen que sí, ¿cierto? Entonces, en ese momento, Garabito toma una decisión muy difícil. En, en ese momento, Gar, Garabito le declara la guerra a los españoles. Eso fue fatal para los demás. Time to go for a little walk. I think we're gonna go look at some plants and herbs. Herbs. If you have a garden or any kind of garden, any kind of garden, you have to know this place completely. But to know it is not only the garden. No, it's not. What you have to do is. Y esto era la casa tradicional. No, esto no. eran las casas eh, para las ceremonias. Para las ceremonias. Por eso son cuáles. Se, se llenaba de humo, de hierbas. Hierbas, se tomaban pan, se tomaban. Se sudaba. Se sudaba. Increíble. Como la, la clínica, ¿eh? Happy baby? I'm happy.
Okay, so that was amazingly interesting. Nelson actually wanted to show us a lot more of the trails around this area, but as you can tell, it started pouring and uh, take advantage of the fact that right now the rain has calmed down a little bit and we're gonna make our way back into the city because I gotta get some work done. But yeah, I highly recommend this place. I'll put the information up on the screen. Nelson's a super nice guy and uh, I think he could use the, uh, the business. So highly recommend it, 10 out of 10. A lot of cool stuff to learn. <laughs> Running to catch the bus. We are waiting at this here bus stop and the bus just drove right past us. He wouldn't stop. She actually was a female driver. So uh, no, um, they're probably just full, honestly. So we're stuck here for a little while. I guess the bus is come by every half an hour but you know you never really ever know uh, if that's true so let's see at least the views are cool Okay, so it's now the next day and we're obviously back at the hotel. I owe you guys a hotel room tour and yesterday when we got back we passed out and we made a mess again. So this morning I cleaned it up a little bit, so here's the hotel room tour. Just outside here, the window, you have a little courtyard and then down that path you go down to where breakfast is served, down there's the lobby. But it's really cool because there's all these little courtyards inside here. There's like several of them. Uh, work area, closet, there's a safe in there. And then nice king size bed, phone, uh, really everything you need, TV. And then bathroom is nice. Those are our shampoos and stuff. It does come with like a multi-purpose soap slash shampoo combination. And then, you know, decent bathroom. Got our stuff everywhere. Anyway, now we're gonna walk through the hotel. I'll show you guys, you know, the inside of the complex a little bit, and then we're gonna go to breakfast. I'll show you guys the awesome breakfast they serve here. Let's go. amazing breakfast obviously now I would just want to show you guys around the hotel a little bit this is one of the uh, corners as you can tell it's kind of a uh, colonial style I believe this was I don't know either one big estate or several smaller houses that were all kind of you know bound together over time I don't know exactly what the story is, but the style is super cool. Everything's wood. A lot of these little courtyards, as you can tell. 
So, they used to have a buffet-style breakfast, which was, I mean, amazing, to say the least. It had literally everything. You felt like a king when you came here. Um, there was, you know, all sorts of uh, options as far as omelets and eggs and, and hearty foods. And then there was also a big selection of cakes and pastries and stuff and fruit and granola and cereal and all this good stuff. Uh, but right now, obviously, because of COVID, that is not the case. But uh, they serve that breakfast that you saw right there. There's several options. You can get three cheese, egg, and bacon toast. Uh, there's pancakes, there's French toast, omelets, whatever. There's, you know, a good selection that you can order from. Here's some more of the hotel. They got all these crazy statues. These are typical Costa Rican. more cool courtyards. And then this is where the breakfast buffet used to be served. And there's this really cool little garden here. Whenever you sat at these tables, squirrels would come up and steal your croissants. Not really steal your croissants, but you know, you could feed them. I don't think you're supposed to, but everyone did it. <laughs> and uh, all sorts of birds. It's a really neat little area in the middle of San Jose. I highly recommend this place. Again, we're paying $55 a night, and that includes breakfast. Can't complain. Love this place. Been coming here for 23 years since I was a little kid. Highly recommend it. Check it out when you're here. Put that out on Quest. Uh, that's probably going to do it for this video. I'm going to go and take care of some paperwork now, so that's not interesting. Catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys. Peace.